Joe Biden says the quiet part out loud. Ceasefire in Gaza would allow Hamas to survive and rebuild. After Thursday's partisan and angry State of the Union address, Joe Biden was caught in a hot mic boasting that he told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, you and I are going to have a come to Jesus meeting. In full damage control, Biden sat down Saturday with MSNBC Jonathan Capehart, where he said the quiet part out loud about who really benefits from a potential ceasefire. Biden boasted that he has pushed for a ceasefire in Gaza until Israel has a plan to evacuate the citizens occupying the remaining areas. Capehart asks, who actually wants a deal? Do you think Hamas wants a ceasefire? Biden's response is telling. Well, I think Hamas would like a total ceasefire across the board because they can then have a better chance to survive and maybe rebuild. But that's not what I think the vast majority of people think. You have to look and then he goes all over the place. Watch the video. I'm going to put it here. You have a look at what he says himself. Shalom. Who, who actually wants a deal? Do you think Hamas actually wants a ceasefire? Well, I think Hamas would like a total ceasefire across the board because they, then they would see they have a better chance to survive and maybe rebuild. But that's not what I think the vast majority of people think. You have to look. After what happened in World War II and the carpet bombing that took place, what happened was we ended up in a situation where we changed the rules of the game, what constitutes legitimate rules of war.